my experiment is related to the aggregation of colloidal particles uh, uh, to form a gel, an arrested structure. And the, the gel is ubiquitous in nature. Uh, what uh, we have uh, in mind is uh, to study the aging, the evolution of this uh, gel. And this is a very important uh, point because every material ages and, and fails. So it's important to study the evolution of this material in times. Our uh, colloidal system is made by very small spherical uh, particle in which the aggregation is promoted by increasing the temperature because essentially the particles are covered by a uh, polymer chain and when you increase the temperature we reduce the solubility of the, the polymer with the solvent and this promotes the aggregation of the particle. One of the advantages of this method is if you reduce again the temperature the system completely remelts and so you can repeat the experiment. And another advantage of using this system is that if you change the temperature uh, you can tune precisely the interaction between the particles. Of course, it's the same problem that you have with the earthquake. The essentially, you store the stress in the crust, and when the crust evolves at a certain point, there you have a catastrophic uh, failure. And uh, uh, my gel can be a model to study how the uh, stress propagates in, uh, in this material. And our preliminary results, for instance, show that changing the concentration of the, of the interaction between the particles we can have different way in which the stress uh, propagate. If you are able to find some precursor of the failure, you can uh, say, okay, now it's time to change uh, the part, to change the object, to change the material, and substitute it with a fresh one. And uh, it's, I think it can be it's really, uh, really important, especially when you are uh, on Mars or away, that maybe you have to construct uh, soft material the, using the sand of the Mars you can find a method to monitor the failure of your material and to anticipate the, 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 the complete failure of your system. So I think this can be useful for exploration. One of the uh, key motivations to work with NASA is that they develop this confocal microscope and our uh, mission is called ACE-T, where T stays for temperature, because one of the key points of our uh, research is to be able to control the temperature uh, very precisely the temperature of the system because the temperature controls the interaction between between the particles and the AST uh, project uh, NASA develop uh, an advanced uh, stage for the microscope that is able to control precisely the temperature of the system. We cannot make this study on Earth or better we can make but the result is of course completely different because gravitational stress uh, perturbs these, uh, these materials. So it's uh, mandatory to have, uh, make this research on space to see the evolution of this material. I have a collaboration with the European Space Agency. In that case, I'm developing a light scattering setup. So essentially the combination of a light scattering setup and the confocal microscope uh, give me everything that I need to uh, try to understand uh, the problem of, uh, of gelations. One of the nice things of the confocal microscope is the ability to give the 3D structure of your, uh, of your material. So what I plan to do is to use uh, the structure of my gel that we obtained this morning to print a 3D, with a 3D printer and a larger copy of the gel and use that as a gadget for the science team. But what is also interesting is that in the future, when we have uh, the result from the space, uh, research. I will also have the structure of the gel in space that is, it will be completely different and also we will print this 3D copy and I think that uh, I can use on, the, on my desk but also useful for students because when you want to uh, explain to the student why it's important to make research in microgravity condition I think that if you put something they can visualize and touch it can be very useful for teaching. The investigation of gel solidification in, in space was made in collaboration with uh, Professor Roberto Piazza from Politecnico of Milano and Luca Cipelletti from the University of, of, of Montpellier with the ACE team of NASA and also we have a collaboration with the European Space Agency 
uh, in fact me and Roberto Piazza and Luca Cipolletti are the designer of the Colis setup that is uh, made by European Space Agency. I'm very happy to be here at the NASA Glenn Research Center to work with the scientists and engineers that help me uh, to transform my idea in, uh, in reality. The thing that I really appreciate is how they help me in make real what I had in my, in my mind. So I have to thank to these, uh, to all these people.